Welcome, this is Gunflon Ubi here again. So here I am, I just completed the GP04B bear guy over here. This is actually a Gundam from Gunfla Builders from my introduction. I have introduced him and some background and everything. So it's kind of simple build but a very fun one. Even even though it looks very simple but the, the build is just fun and interesting. So I still have some stickers here unused, figuring out which eyes will match him best and if there's any way to stick on it and reuse it in later on okay let's uh, go straight to the bad guy itself so as we all know bad guy is just an gunpla builder edition so that means they are just modifying whatever that is existing in the current line so he is based on egg guy an mg egg guy the build it's it, even the kit itself mainly come from the hguc egg guy so it's very, 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 very obvious that they borrow a lot of parts from there. So design-wise, straightforward, looks beautiful with uh, two, the three color tones over here, the gray, the brown, and the light brown. They match real well. Some some minor details over here at the back, some changes. The red backpack, whereby most of the uh, school, school in Japan, this is their signature red backpack, school bag. So, yeah, let's start with the articulation of this kit over here. So, I'll start with the top. The head itself is on a single, bo uh, single joint down there. But in one thing to take note is the impressive neck over here. It's a silver colored neck that will extend when you turn his head. So, you will not see any exposed part over here. This is a very, very interesting thing that I, I realized in, in building such a simple kit. But such details is not lost over here and yep the head basically can turn almost 360 degrees no problem but they will freak you out just like the exosus so we just keep it this way movement up and down is limited to until around here that would be less than 45 a very straightforward look only due to the neck structure the hands itself is uh, another interesting build you see here this is the shoulder pad so this itself allows the hand to move 360 degrees with no hindrance at all. It can go up to 90 degrees and twist, twist again so you can just do any twisting, uh, twist motion or, or, or poses you like with it and this shoulder pad will adjust according to the hand so this again give it extra point during the posing which is very dynamic. The arm itself is not much of a uh, uh, sorry, twisting point. Just control over there. You can see here. There's just a normal less than 90 degrees turn. Yep, that would be all. He can't move. He can't. He he won't be able to reach the the the, the thing at the backpack there. Yeah, he can't. Nearly. He can nearly do that. One complaint though is that the shoulder pad tends to be quite loose at times, so you need to adjust it once, once, once a while or that. Or that. So you can see from the body itself. Forget about the waist motion. They, he won't have any. <laughs> He's a very straight. <laughs> he, he'll be he'll be a surprise if he can move his waist. But the leg itself is kind of interesting also. Another interesting deal because this is the only first HG kit that ever come with a seal door in a frame that means these all plates are just put on top of a gray gray inner part so it looks feels like a bit like building a mini mg over here okay about the legs it's all using almost the same technology or for the arms this part twistable over here this is the flexible part the legs itself can raise up to 90 no problem Here.